All righty, we are on Royal Enfield Classic number 351. This hot rod has had a cam added. Oh, can you all hear that? A little bit of a pop. They just put the cam in here a day or two ago. I have not ridden this yet. First ride. He has a Punjab pipe on it. DNA, DNA, whatever it's called, air filter system on it. We are here at Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa. They're the ones that did the work. I love the way these bikes handle. They handle so well. Look at this, just nice and tight. <laughs> oh, wow, that sounds a lot different. Wow, that's very... Y'all hear that? Wow. Impressive, impressive. The cam came from England. Uh, the day they came out, they ordered one. And uh, the, it came in last week. They put it in within two or three days of getting it. Here's this bike turns excellent. I've got one of these. I put 300 and, I'm sorry, 200 miles on my Classic yesterday. My Classic is bone stock, of course. Wow, it's a whole different bike. It is a whole different motorcycle. It's a totally different personality. It's changed the uh, personality a bit. Ah, oh, it's got a little bit of bite. A little bit of bite. Oh. What a hoot. What a hoot. Howdy y'all. Take it a little easy. Don't want to upset the natives. Stir up the locals. Things like that. I love it. Uh, this bike, the owner of this bike and I have been off-roading with this particular motorcycle. He's got a farm property and we went all over that place on this thing. I was following him on my Himalayan. So this is a very capable motorcycle. And now it's got the cam. I would say it definitely has low end, more low end. Terrific sound. I rode this before with uh, before the cam and I think the sound has actually changed. It's much more aggressive sounding. These bar end mirrors are awesome. Let's do the hill spin test here. Look at that, look at that. So tight, so tight. Uh-huh. These things are, this is why I bought one. They're just such a fun, motor, fun motorcycle to ride. That's a derailed grill. If you're ever in Marnie, Iowa, give those people a try. What a grin. It's about a 70 degree day here in uh, good old Marnie, the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie. If you're in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph or vintage bike of any type, give these guys, Baxter Cycle, give these guys a call. BaxterCycle.com, ask for Jeremy, or Mark, or Randy, or Amanda. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Listen to that run. Wow, I love the sound. <laughs> what a hot rod. Wahoo! Uh, all the accessories this bike has, the mirrors, the... I don't know what else he has on it. Oh, they also put a fuel X system in here. This bike, so this bike has a fuel X system, the cammed up system. I put the picture of the cam right now in the fuel X system. I can't remember what brand the cam was. I don't came from England. Uh, they've also added, they think it's a DNA air filter. I talked about the Punjab pipe, the cat to lead pipe. Uh, not sure what else they've done. Anyway, if you're in the uh, mood for accessories for your hot rod, go to BaxterCycle.com. They've got just about everything there. I think the cam seems to be focused more in the mid-range, low end and mid-range, but it's, well, uh, I take that back, we're picking up speed now. <laughs> what a hoot, what a hoot. We're picking up some speed. These things are rev limited at, uh, I think, 70 or speed limited. Uh, I think we're bouncing off of it. Well, we certainly got to it quick. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Wow, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
the sound is phenomenal. You know, it's a 350, but <laughs> probably the fastest Royal Enfield 350 on the on the planet right now. You know, the stock modern or the modern ones anyway. Looking to see if he has a heel shifter. I know he talked about getting one. Wow, it just opens right up. It's right up to speed. The cam is definitely focused on, I would say, the low and mid, mid range. You know, if you add, it's a 20 horsepower motor, I think the cam is supposed to add four or five horsepower. So they did the Fuel X system, the air filter system, the pipe, the cat delete pipe, and the end pipe. You know, if they're getting six or seven extra horsepower, that's substantial. And it seems to all be concentrated on the low and mid range. Okay, I'm, I'm bouncing off the speed limiter. 72 or three miles an hour, 71, 72 miles an hour, bouncing off the speed limiter. Okay, there it is again, bouncing off of it. I don't know if you all can hear that, but I certainly can. These bikes are just a barrel of monkeys fun. You know, look at this, these levers are so nice, all the switch gear is good. I have, I've had my uh, classic 17 days and I think I've got 1,200, let's say 1,100 miles on it already. Maybe I should do a video on that, huh? <laughs> it's 1,100 mile review. <laughs> By the time you all get the video, it'll be 12 or 13 or 15, even 1,500, right? This thing is a hoot. This thing is a hoot. Stretch out there with his gaggle of bikes. One, two, three, two Harleys. No, two Royal Enfields in a Harley. Look at this, nice slow speed. Hey, let's go down by Cycle Park for the heck of it. <laughs> the sound this thing makes is insane. It not only is it louder, but it's a different tint. You know, it's it's got a different, much more aggressive sound to it. All right. Let me get off this bike, I'll get my other camera out, and we shall continue the discussion. Wahoo! Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker down here in the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa, home of Baxter Cycler. And look what they have lent me today, or actually a customer there has lent me this today. This is a Royal Enfield Classic 350. We've all seen this bike before. Pay attention to the number on it, 351. Each one of these has its own number. Uh, this has just come out of the shop. Baxter's has just done some, uh, you know, magic on it. And uh, if you've watched a little bit of the video, you probably know what I'm talking about already, but uh, they added a camshaft up here, a uh, fuel X system, I think is what it's called, underneath the, you know, part of the uh, engine management system. It's got a CAD delete pipe. I think somebody else put that on. And it's also got a Punjab muffler on it. I believe the owner also put in a, you can't really see it. I think it's called a DNA air filter. So it's got the air filter, the cam, the fuel X system, the CAD delete pipe, and the Punjab. Now this thing makes, uh, not only does it make noise, but it really increased the power. I was just absolutely impressed with that thing. I, I, I call my 350 a Zen field because I like the way it feels and the way it sounds and the way it does me. Um, but this is a totally different motorcycle now, I would say. It still has that beautiful classic look, but it's a, it's a sheep and uh, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Over. Okay, a little bit of the specs first. So the classic specs, it's got, uh, 54.7 inch wheelbase, that's uh, 1,389 millimeters. 6.7 inches of ground clearance, that's 170 millimeters. Seat height and stock form, and this one looks to be in stock, 31.7 inches, that's 105 millimeters. Weight, 430 pounds, it's the heaviest of the 350s, that's 195 kilograms. Fuel capacity, 3.4 gallons, that's 13 liters. Tires on the front are 19s. it's a 19 on the front, and the rear is a 120 80, 18. Horsepower, in stock form, it's supposed to crank out about 20 horsepower and about 20 foot-pounds of torque, but I think it's supposed to add four or five horsepower to the uh, engine, and of course they did the fuel X, and it's got the pipe, and it's got the uh, cat delete, and it's got, so I don't know, if they gained another, you know, if they gained at least five horsepower, six horsepower, that's really a substantial amount of horse, and let's, 25% more power, and uh, the bike certainly has come alive. I will, I will totally attest to that. Uh, he does have these bags on here. He's got the bar end mirrors, the bags. By the way, you can get all the stuff at Baxter Cycle. Uh, you know, what I love about mine, and the reason I went with mine, 
I've, I've driven all the 350s. They're all great. The Meteor, the Meteor is a, probably the most comfortable of them. Uh, the uh, Hunter is the most, the most sporty, <laughs> the most aggressive. And then the Classic, I, I feel, I feel personally, the Classic is the best looking. And what I like about the Classic, everything's metal. This is cast, cast aluminum here. You know, it's got covers over the forks. They're 41 millimeter forks, by the way. You know, this is metal. The fender, you know, everything is just metal on the thing. It's, it's built like a tank. That's why it weighs more. The other ones have plastic. These all come with a kickstand, uh, center stand also. And, uh, you know, look at that chrome. How about that? A chrome side stand. Ooh, chrome. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I, I absolutely, I absolutely love these motorcycles. I don't know if I said it already. I put, uh, I think I put 200 miles on my own yesterday. And, uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go try to put a bunch of miles on that one. It had uh, three-eighths of a tank of gas. Maybe I can burn back with a quarter tank or a, you know, eighth of a tank. <laughs> All right, y'all. If the weather's nice where y'all are at, get out and ride. Wahoo! Intoxicating.